sitcom. I mean, the only one I can imagine where I would, where it would be another epic where I need to outdo everything is if I did a Kill Bill 3. Have you thought of that? I've thought of it, yeah. Oh, with, with Kill Bill 3, it, I mean, it's you already have these two epic films. Is there like something that you felt was unresolved in the first two, or would you like to revisit the characters? Well, I think it's just I, I think it's just uh, um, revisiting the characters twenty years later. Just imagining the bride and her daughter Bibi having twenty years of peace, and like then that peace is shattered, and now like uh, um, the bride and her daughter, bride and Bibi are on the run. And, the, you know, just the idea of being able to cast Uma and, and cast her daughter Maya in the thing would be fucking exciting. Yeah. No. You know, and Elle Driver's still out there. Sophie Fatale got her arms cut off. She's still out there. Right, right, <laughs> they right. They all got Bill's money. Yeah. Actually, uh, 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 Gogo had a twin sister, Shiaki. All right. Uh, 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 and so, like, her twin sister could show up. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, a renowned filmmaker and master of storytelling, has recently dashed the hopes of Kill Bill fans, eagerly waiting the possibility of a third installment in the iconic series. Despite the persistent rumors surrounding the potential continuation of the franchise, Tarantino has made it clear that his next and final film will not be Kill Bill 3. In a recent interview, he shared his intentions to conclude his illustrious career after his 10th movie leaving fans disappointed by the news. Tarantino has established himself as a prominent figure in the film industry, renowned for his distinctive style and unconventional narratives, known for his ability to capture audiences with gripping storytelling and unforgettable characters. Tarantino has created a legacy that spans multiple genres, from Reservoir Dogs to Pulp Fiction, and from Unglorious Bastard to Django Unchained. Each of these movies showcases his exceptional talent. Each of these films showcases his exceptional talent and artistic vision. Among Tarantino's extensive filmography, the Kill Bill series hold a special place in the hearts of fans worldwide. The two-part martial arts epic starring Uma Thurman as the fierce and vengeful bride resonated with audiences for its styled actions, dynamic characters and Tarantino's homage to classic cinema. Over the years, fans have eagerly awaited news of a potential third installment hoping to witness the continuation of the, of the Brides and Journey. Tarantino's final film, in a recent interview, Tarantino has revealed that his next and final film will focus on a male film critic set in the 1970s titled The Movie Critic. It explores the story of a real-life film critic Tarantino encountered, who wrote reviews for an adult magazine but never achieved well-spread recognition. While this new project showcases Tarantino's versatility as a filmmaker, it definitely separates itself from the world of Kill Bill and his previous works. Addressing the persistent rumors surrounding Kill Bill 3, Tarantino gave a disappointing response during an interview with Belgium outlet De Morgan when asked about the possibility of another installment. He stated, I don't see that happening. My last film is about a film critic, a male critic. He plays in the 70s. This declaration from the renowned director shattered the hopes of many fans, who had been eagerly anticipating a continuation of the beloved franchise. While Tarantino's decision may leave fans disappointed, it is essential to respect his artistic choices and his desire to conclude his filmmaking career on his own terms as he prepares to embark on his final journey. Fans can still look forward to the unique storytelling experiences Tarantino will undoubtedly bring to the screen. Additionally, he has expressed interest in exploring television projects leaving room for potential future endeavors outside the realm of film. So what do you think it will take for Quentin Tarantino to move forward with a Kill Bill Volume 3? Starring you and your mom, Uma Thurman. Uh, what you? do I think He has said take? that casting uh, you opposite your mom would be exciting if there ever were a Volume I 3. I think that he really loves talking about the idea of making a volume three. And so really actually what I think it would take is everyone not talking about it for Just... long enough <laughs> that he gets annoyed that yeah. no one's asking him for it anymore. <laughs> and then he'll be like, now I'm gonna show them or else, that they want it. Or else reverse psychology. You know, Quentin, you can't. You can't, I don't think you, he can you, do yes, it. You don't, yeah, right, I don't right. think he can it do can't it. Be done. I don't think he has it, it in him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There you yeah. go. He doesn't have it in him. The first two are the whole idea and then that's, I think that's all it's got.